Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here. Welcome to my Amazon Lions. Today I'm excited because I want to share some supplier hacks with you guys. What do I mean by that? These are some of the secrets that I use in my negotiating power with suppliers to get the best prices possible and uh, essentially like build a relationship with them. So um, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do guys is to make sure you sound professional, right? You gotta have a legit uh, company. You gotta make sure that uh, you are you have everything you need to know about your company first of all in the product that you're gonna be selling. Um, you gotta do your research uh, to know what things to ask for, and that's why I provide you guys with a template that I'm gonna post it in the description below for you guys so you can check it out. So. What you need to do uh, with suppliers is first of all sound professional and the way we do that is to use a template, let them know that we have this company, we're looking to expand our product line, uh, we have contacted many suppliers and if you have the name of suppliers that you've contacted or that's their competitor on the China side, right? So this is on Alibaba guys. So it's great to let them know that we've contacted certain suppliers and they have given us certain pricing but we want to compare yours with theirs so let them know that they have a little bit of competition and you're serious about this and that other suppliers have already contacted you so this creates a little bit of competitive environment for them and they will try to do their best to lower their prices so that's one thing a lot of people don't do they contact right away as their first supplier whoever gets back uh, to them but it's always good to leverage these suppliers against each other. So um, one of the things that uh, I do here in Canada whenever I'm buying, let's say, furniture or whatever, uh, we have two major supplies, which is Home Depot and Lowe's. And what do I do is um, when I find a product there, I go to the next competitor, which is Lowe's. Let's say if I find it at Home Depot, I go to Lowe's and I know they have a policy that they're going to match and beat it by 10%, right? So I get that price. I get that price without the discounts listed on it and then I go back to Home Depot because I know they have the same uh, policy and then they beat that price by 10%. You guys see how I like I try to get the best pricing possible because guys you have to do what you can in order to make sure you get the best prices possible and you're getting quality products. Now I trust both of those suppliers but based on the products that are the prices that they give me I choose which one I'm gonna buy from. So this is the kind of hacks I'm talking about guys. You gotta basically, uh, instead of you negotiating, you gotta bring a competitor to kind of negotiate with that competitor to give you the best pricing possible. That builds value on your business. So that tells the suppliers that, hey, this guy's legit if somebody else is trying to compete with me, right? That really builds value for, for your business. And the other thing is to get as much information beforehand as possible. So one of the other secrets is that I get a bunch of MOQs for them. So that's minimum order quantity and the prices associated per item with that. So I tell, ask them, if I order 100 to 300, how much your price will be per unit for a specific product, sorry. And then I go 301 to 500, 500 to 1000, 1000 to 5000, 5000 to 10,000. And that really gives me leverage. So Sometimes I don't even go in the hundreds. I say, well, give me prices for 1,000 to 5,000, right? And then 5,000 to 10,000 and 10,000 to 20,000. Why do I do that? So the secret is that you are already giving him the impression that you are a, you're a big company and you're looking to order a massive quantity, right? If you go hundreds, they're gonna say, okay, maybe this is a smaller business. He wants to know the number of units, how much the prices are and this and that based on that. So you never wanna mention in hundreds. So that's one trick I've learned over the years that you wanna let them know that you're dealing in thousands. And that brings value and um, enormity to your company. They think that you're a big company. So once I get those prices, then I go back to them and say, okay, first of all, like I do the competitor thing like I was talking about with you guys. And then what I do is, okay, guys, uh, I'm, I would like you guys to be my nominated supplier, right? And I want to know, um, I want to get some samples from you guys to test out the products. And my number of samples is basically the number of units that I'm going to need for my first order. I'm not telling them that, right? So this way they think that I want to order a bigger 
list of samples or a bigger sample size, right? So that automatically also tells them, okay, this company really wants to do testing. They want to make sure our product is top notch. That's why they're not ordering like five units or anything like that to do as a test, as a sample, but they want to order, like, let's say, 300 units you need, right? Say, you know what? I, I, I don't need free samples. I'm going to buy it from you, but I want to test out a, um, a sample size of 300 units before I can commit to a 10,000 unit um, order. So this tells them that, okay, this is a huge company. Let me get my best pricing possible. So what they're going to do is they're going to kind of treat that 300 unit uh, sample size, uh, sorry, 300 unit order size as a sample. So they say, you know what, guys, um, um, I know you don't want it for free and stuff. So here is a better pricing for you since you are thinking of ordering a larger quantity and you want to test out the sample size. And I let them know, like, I need uh, once I get the samples, I need a two week period to test this out, make sure everything is good or even a month, depending on what your projection is to get more units. So this way you get the best pricing possible. You, you can even get like a, a MOQ pricing of, let's say, which is minimum order quantity, by the way, guys, of uh, 5,000 units, right? For your 300 unit order. How crazy is that, guys? So these are the two hacks that I use, these two strategies that I use to get the best pricing possible from suppliers. And the most important, and I can't stress this enough, and I know I've told you guys this 10 times in this video, is professionalism. You gotta sound professional. You cannot send them messages like a text message you send to your friend. You cannot do that kind of stuff. So you gotta sound like a business person. So research, do some research. I have a template below, use that one. Do whatever you can to sound professional, guys. So that's it, guys. Hope this video helps you guys on how to contact suppliers and get the best prices possible for your business and I know, I know you guys can negotiate. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Drop your comments below on how you like this video. I really appreciate it. If you're a new viewer, subscribe, hit the bell button and welcome. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.